dear listener, and a happy first uh, Sunday of Lent to you. I welcome you to this moment of uh, purification, of prayer, and uh, almsgiving as we journey with the Lord in the desert. Today's readings uh, present us with the two sides of a man's conditions, the fall and the rise of man. Through the disobedience of our first parents, we sin came into the world and its consequence, death, strode into human life. But we have a hope in the Lord that through the righteousness of our Lord Jesus Christ, life was also restored back and the original intention of God was being fulfilled in the life of man. Many have argued that uh, it is unfair for us to have share in the sin of Adam. But here we are still also guilty of our own particular and personal sin. So it is no longer a matter of fairness, but of mercy. We are privileged that at this appointed time, God has shown mercy unto us. As Paul, we, uh, as Paul writes to us that, it is not he who run it or will it, but he whom the Lord has shown mercy. Romans 9.16 And to let us know that um, temptation is part of our existential reality, Jesus came, identified with us, and he went through that uh, puri purifying moment too in the desert. He was tempted by, the, by, uh, by Satan. But where Satan had hoped to succeed, I mean, where Satan had succeeded with Adam, he failed with the Lord. And this gave us the assurance and the hope that also uh, identifying with the Lord will also can be victorious. Because obedience always speaks of victory. We cannot be obedient in time to the call of faith and be condemned to eternity. So I ask you to come and journey with the Lord in obedience to his word and, and fight against the avarice and the temptations of the Satan and the world so that we can share in the, resur in the, in the resurrected life that Christ has won for us on the cross. And in my prayer is that this will be a portion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. See you.